Hey, party people. <clears throat> Safe at Jeff here. And today we are going to take the knife. We're going to take the Swiss Army knife, which I still have never looked up to find out why we idolize the Swiss Army so much. Um, I'm going to take the Swiss Army knife and we are going to cut into RVF Honda by Microplay for the Atari ST. Now, it's very interesting because this is a very American looking label. Um, in fact, the label at the bottom of this looks very, 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 very similar to one that would have been at B. Dalton's software, um, etc. in the mall. And I don't know if they sold Atari stuff. They sold a few Atari games to the one near us, not many. So does the white label. The 995 one. So this is a game by Microplay, at least released by Microplay in the United States for the Atari ST. Um, let's take a look at the front of the box. It has a dude on a Honda motorcycle, a black ninja maybe. And he's got a woman with a really 80s haircut. If you can see, she's got bangs and he, he's got a kind of a I don't know. He kind of looks 80s, but really he's just has a short dude haircut. Her hair is kind of um, looking very 80s. Um, let's see. This is this is microplay. It says double your points. Two medals are deemable for great prizes inside this package. Oh, cool. It's going to be some cool stuff in this package. Here's the back. This is a, a motorcycle racing game. I have played this, not this disc, of course, but I've I've played this before off of my Ultra Satan uh, and an emulation. I think it's on one of my videos about the best Atari ST games from 1989. I think I chose this as one of the best games from 1989. Uh, realistic bike controls and race conditions give the feel of real Formula One racing. But why would it give Formula One racing when you're on a motorcycle? Um, okay, let's just continue on. Dazzling detailed graphics, digitized engine sounds, various levels of difficulty, different race circuits, uh, compete at club level in national events or on no holds barred international circuit. Famous European tracks such as Donington, Bocken, Bocken, Bockenheim, and Salzburg Ring. It's Salzburg and Bokenheim. Realistic scoring follows the championship points system. Play alone on one computer or with a friend on two computers. Okay, very cool. And this is um, the date on it. We'll have to look when we look it up the data on Atari Mania because the dates will be off. Let's take the knife to it now. Okay, so here is our... Good. Here is, I'm going to take a little bit of this shrink wrap here. And let's go right here. So it's another, it's it's a box that opens not at the top. It's, it's a sort of a real box. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to keep part of this because of the, I'm going to keep this plastic actually in the box because of the stickers and then price on the front. That'll be something to maintain. Um, what else do we have here now in our get a non glary closer look to the sticker that says uh, color monitor required works on a 520 ST 1040 ST and the megas a color monitor required joystick required. Okay, so let's take a look at this. It's been I mean this has been in the shrink wrap for a lot of years, so it's kind of stuck here. Oh, this box contains a lot of cool stuff. Okay, so I'm going to put this back here. First thing first, out of this box. Oops. Oh, I almost dropped the two, the two stickers. Okay. First thing out of this box is warranty registration card. And it says something very American. Oh, MicroPros. So, so it looks like MicroPlay is a division of MicroPros. Um, and MicroPros, warranty department for MicroPros. And we pay the postage. And then you're supposed to mark which game it is. Here's my completed warranty card. Send the software I have indicated below for $9.95 each. 
So you can get Atari ST software at this time for $9.95 each. Silent Service was for the ST, IBM, Amiga, and Apple II. Conflict in Vietnam for the IBM and Apple II. Crusade in Europe for the I for IBM and Apple II. Decision in the Desert, IBM and Apple II. And then Top Gunner Collection, that was for the C64. That included Hellcat Ace, MIG Alley Ace, and Air Rescue. That was also available. All these games available for the Atari 8-bit also, but not at this time. They must have, obviously, uh, Atari 8-bit, uh, both Atari and the Tremels kind of did. I mean, the Tremels tried, I'm going to say, but both uh, the original Atari kind of killed the 8-bit with some poor decision-making. We'll get to that some other time. Very cool registration card. And then here are the stickers. So by buying this game, you got... 100 M points. Okay. Here is Medalist International. Ah, this is what the points are for. This is the Frequent Buyers Club. So, if you had 25 points, um, you got a gold Medalist Emblem pin. We have 50 points here for this one. We have 100 points here for this one game. 50 points got you a soccer squeeze bottle, a Stargillator 2 poster, or a 3D pool visor. 75 points got you a Weird Dreams hospital shirt or a Carrier Command hat. And 100 points, you got a free game. Free medalist game. See insert for available titles. Huh, interesting. Or... One prize from 50 point and one prize from 75 point. Redeem this card with 100 points worth of medals and receive a silver prize redemption card. I don't understand all of this, but frequent buyer's membership card. This is really interesting. Um, very cool. Not as cool as the uh, Mistron Manifesto, but cool in and of itself. Okay, what do we have here? Uh, medalist titles. Now, the ones for the Atari ST. Eliminator, Exelon, Fast Track, Keith Van Aeron's Pro Soccer, uh, Netherworld, RVF Honda, Savage, 3D Pool, Twilight's Ransom, Weird Dreams, Xenophobe. I've never heard of some of those games. Um, Silver Prizes... Hundred, very interesting. They had this big prize redemption thing, trying to get you to buy more software and not pirate it like a dirty, dirty pirate. Okay, here is the RVF Honda disc. It's a RV. It's a, a blue disc with a red label, a very cool red label. It's got micro play on it. Um, and we'll put this disc over here because we're going to need to put that in the ST very soon. Double your fun. Okay, so. This is how you would pin out the pinouts for going from one Atari printer point printer port to another Atari printer port or to Amiga to Amiga or ST to Amiga. This is so this is how you could play against one another. Okay, that's really cool. Let's see if you guys that's really, really cool. How you would um, play this game between with two players at different computers. There's even more stuff in this box. Okay, so this is the Micropro's backup or disk order form. So if you wanted to get a backup disk, a backup disk, um, you could send them this order form for $5 and get a backup disk for this game. Uh, so this way you could actually play on two STs if you had two of them, or you could bring one to a friend's house with your backup disk. Uh, very cool. Let's see. It says uh, take $5 discount. Oh, okay. So it's $10 for backup disc. But, oh, it's bigger than I thought. And then and it tells you do not separate backup order form from the discount order form above. They want to make sure you're not just trying to buy games for $10, but the games are really expensive. So what else is in here? Okay, so next up we have Face to Face. With excitement. And it's a full color. Wow. It's a full color. Very, very well made catalog. Let's move it here. Okay. 
here. Okay, let's check out what Atari ST games are in here. So F19, they don't say it's Atari ST, but it was. Red Storm Rising was. Um, I know that Gunship came out for the ST. In fact, I have a Gunship box, but I don't have the discs for it. Pirates, Airborne Ranger, Tank Platoon, F-15, Strike Eagle 2, Sword of the Samurai. We have Spider-Man and Captain America in Doctor Doom's Revenge. Just an awful, awful game. They say just Amiga and C64. It came out for the Atari ST. Um, X-Men, I think it's IBM. Destroyer Escort. I don't know about that one. Here's a weird one. It's Pro Soccer. It says the crazy... Let read this. The soccer crazy European magazines call Pro Soccer the most realistic sports simulation in the world. A unique top-down scrolling view keeps you on top of the action. Snap over the head scissors kicks and bend banana shots around the opposition. Oh, this is... You know what? This is Micro Pro Soccer. But... In here, it's called Pro so Weird Pro Soccer with like some like AOSO kids on the front. Well, that'd be kids that play youth soccer here in the U.S. Um, definitely not, definitely not marketed the way you'd expect a, a, a sports game to be marketed. Um, so I, it is a great game. Actually, I like it. It's it, you can find some a lot of uh, flaws in it. Looks good, sounds good, but this makes it look like it's something you'd get free out of the back of a Boy's Life magazine. Um, Guardians of Infinity, I don't know what that is. And then they have, um, let's see, they have Eliminator, which is a, uh, a, a shooting game. Exelon, which is when you run on a planet and you shoot. Netherworld, uh, Carrier Command, Star Glider 2, Weird Dreams, RVF Honda, Savage, which is a fun game, Xenophobe, um, and 3D Pool. So very, very cool. I think we called that Micro... No, it's not Micro Deal Pool. Okay. And then also in this box is a very detailed RVF Honda manual. That is far too much information for me to digest before I drop in this disc, but... Uh, it, uh, the ST, how to load on the ST is the simplest one of them all. Um, you got ST, Amiga, and IBM PC loading instructions. You have data disk controlling the motorbike. They call it a motorbike. Okay. Um, never liked that term for motorcycle. Um, club, international, damage, starting the race, just all kinds of stuff. A lot more detailed than I need just to start up and play this, but what a great set of information to get with your game. Let's see if there's any special uh, things at the end, like, uh, I don't know, uh, introductions or anything that sound like the... I'm always looking now for things that are kind of similar to the Mitztron uh, Manifesto. Uh, doesn't say a, It says more about Honda than it does about uh, the micro deal, but... But we saw a lot about MicroDeal because and mic and micro pros because they put out a lot of games. Formula One racing is no easy ride. So I guess there is a Formula One motorcycle racing in Europe, but that's not what they call it here. Um, or it wasn't at least. So very interesting, very cool full color manual on the covers and then black and white inside. One other thing I just noticed was that there's a there's a date stamp in this box. It says, I think. June 19th, 1989 is stamped in the box. Okay, so let's put all of these items uh, in, back in the box, except for the disc, because we are now going to open up this. And here, I'm going to keep that, that shrink wrap, because it actually was cool to have the price on it. Put that here, and now we are going to flip on the Atari ST Power, put in the disc, turn it on, and we're going to need our trusty joystick, clickety joystick, to play this if it loads up. There it is. Micro style. Micro style. Micro play. And... Um, it's, there's a lot of micros in this. 
and uh, what is it? Um, micro Pros, Micro Style, Micro Play. Um, hmm. A lot of micros in this, like I said before. I've never heard this before. It's pretty cool too. Definitely sampled. Um, okay, so this is the thing. You actually get it. Um, no, no dirty, dirty pirates have ever hit this one. So question one, find this track in the manual and it's length in miles. We're actually to, to do that. Wow, a lot of tracks in here. Okay, I didn't see that one yet. You better give us a little bit of time to do this. It's not that one. It's not that one, it's not. Listen, it's not Paul Ricard. It's not that one. It's not Laguna Seca. It's not Hockenheim in West Germany. It's not Suzuka. Wow. It's not Mallory Park. It's not Caldwell Park. It's not Rock Hill. It's not Ulton. It's not Silverstone. It's not Brands Hatch. It's not Oliver's Mount. Um, we have a lot of tracks, and I oh here it is. This is Wadding Wadston Manor. It's two point. It's one point six seven miles. Okay. One point six seven. Oops. My best name, Ed Hickman. Can I choose a new one? Let's see. Ah, there we are. Okay, riders history, change rider view tables, start season. Let's do a test race. Uh, no, let's do a. like I'm pressing up to change gears. Oh, I mean, I'm, I'm pressing the button to change gears. Uh. You gotta pull down to get back on the bike after you fall off. Not the easiest control in the world. I'm gonna keep hitting things because it's not the easiest control in the world. Okay, so let's try this again. Definitely, you gotta pull down. There you go. Definitely, this will take some reading to, to get right. Um, control's a little touchy. You gotta make sure that you can you're gonna need a lot of practice at these controls. Oh it's slow. <laughs> you hit like a little a little patch on the on the dirt on the ground and you fall off. Not 
not an easy game. New fastest lap. Yeah, I'm terrible at this, but I'm trying not to not to uh, not to hit the. Being lapped. Yeah, I'm not very good at this, um, but um, did not finish, Jeff. So that's RVF Honda. Um, very cool game. A lot of great stuff in this box, especially. Um, interesting to see how they were trying to sell games back then with um, lots and lots of deals and um, ways to uh, get new, more games by earning points and things like that. This was 1989, the Atari ST... Probably was on, it's not as very much on its last legs in the U.S. Um, it was doing much better in, in Europe and U.K. at this time. I mean, but the Amiga was about to overtake it, too, in Christmas of 1989. Um, still, a lot of life left in this machine um, and a lot of games still to unbox and unwrap and try out. Okay, that was RVF Honda. A very nice, nice release with lots of cool stuff in the box. Until next time, into the RVF Honda blank. In fact, I got to play this more because I got to read that book and find out how to actually control it. Okay. Rocket Studios Production.